Oh, what is going on, everybody? It is the most inconsistent YouTuber around. Just making sure that I have audio levels and everything. Good. It, you know, that helps with uh, recording a video. So, my friends, I am back. We're going to talk about Destiny 2. And I figured instead of me trying to do like a normal gameplay commentary, you know, kind of post stuff, we'll do it live, man. I'll talk about my, my thoughts and feelings kind of as we go about it. Uh, and kind of just do, yeah, live com over some Destiny 2 uh, PC gameplay footage. And hopefully uh, you will enjoy. I got to start sounding more convincing. You will definitely enjoy the video. Maybe that comes off a little too strong. I can't really dude this is this is what happened you're out of the game for too long man out of the game as in like not maybe producing youtube videos i don't really know where i'm going with this so let's just jump into the video so this is my exo female hunter i hope you will enjoy um this is obviously coming for somebody I'm trying to just like explain my my destiny background with you guys a little bit let's jump into the quick play queue this is coming from somebody who didn't necessarily play too much Destiny 1. I got invited to a pre-release event for Destiny 1, played it for a little bit, really enjoyed the PvE, but back then I never played console at all. And now I barely play console, maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, definitely more now with um, World War II. I am still going to play that on PC, but with the betas being out on console first, obviously I've gotten plenty of time just getting to play on console but obviously destiny one was all console no pc so i was just kind of out of the loop and I, I wasn't really interested in that sphere so i'm coming into destiny 2 very very fresh very new to the lore the story how everything operates and i'm learning as we go by now something that was really crucial for me with the release of destiny 2 uh, and the beta thank god we got a beta thank you and this beta is good my friends if you guys haven't checked it out i believe there's still two more days uh depending on when this video go up but you should have some time to check it out uh it should be open beta so just through battlenet just download it it's really good in terms of performance in terms of any type of mouse issues or any type of hiccups i haven't really noticed them too much maybe i should click launch that could be a good idea i haven't noticed too many hiccups in terms of performance i'm running a 1070 i'm running medium to high graphics uh and i'm not noticing any frame drops whatsoever i'm rocking 144 hertz uh 144 fps uh pretty much throughout uh, I can't really say I noticed any dips. And the controls and everything, I had to rebind the controls. They don't really feel uh, kind of native to me. I just went with my standard o uh, Overwatch slash Call of Duty slash Counter-Strike kind of setup. Just so I have everything in the same spot. It doesn't matter what you bind them to as long as you feel comfortable, right? Uh, and that's exactly what I did. Now, something I have noticed in terms of like the weapons being good, I think we finally got a game, uh, is the hand cannon seems like they're very, very effective. I'm not sure if that's going to be like a specific problem on PC because you Users typically tend to have a little bit higher precision on PC, especially the really good players. And I feel like a hand cannon does a lot of damage. Now, hopefully I'll be able to showcase that. I probably just missed a bunch, but I've noticed that the hand cannon is, is very, very solid. And it's probably going to be my main gun, even though it's it's like technically my... Not sure if it's count as a secondary, even though it's on my second slot. But my main gun is another hand cannon, but I'm probably not going to use it as much. She's probably got to be one of those things that I switch to as we go on. So something that's interesting about this capture point here is that we already have it from the get-go. And something I don't necessarily like is the fact that... That was a fail. Is that if you jump multiple people on the same flag... God damn it, you won't be able to like cap it faster. Which I think is a pretty standard thing. Uh, and I'm not sure how that was in Destiny 1, if that is something they've changed, or if there's something, uh, they've kept. Not really sure. There's a guy here. Also, not sure how I feel about that. The map showing all the movements whatsoever. Not even sprinting like this, but just walking like this. I feel like that might be a little much. The melee is also very, very strong, but also melee from full HP is a three hit. Which, that seems excessive. Usually people go with either one hit or a two hit for melees. Um, I feel like two hit could be good for this game. I feel like it's definitely too much when it's three hits. But it's also, I feel like it, it's very reminiscent of Halo to me. Where, you know, you have that shield that you gotta work down. It takes a long time to kill people. You can do it, but it's gonna take you a while. Here we go, try to switch. There we go. So I would love for the flags to actually capture faster when you're multiple people on it. Also, this grenade launcher I'm using as my special. 
that I gotta use his special ammo for. Uh, feel like that could have been way stronger also. We should be able to kill this guy. Switch to my wrong pistol here, and I'm getting taken out from behind. That's too bad. Too bad. So I feel like the supers could be a little bit more effective. Um, kind of been thinking about switching back over to the sniper rifle. As I feel like I've had more success with that, but it's also... You know, when you're scoped in with a sniper, you know, if somebody's coming close to you, I have a really hard time to kind of counter that. You're mine, baby. That commando launch, though, what? I don't know how you missed me. There's a guy to my right. Still got the kill first, though. Yeah, it can also be kind of confusing sometimes when you kill people. You know, if you're multiple people shooting at a guy, you will both get points. As far as I'm aware, uh, as long as you do damage to the target. Try to nade that, see if we... That should be able to work, I think. Nah, he walked around it. Where'd you go, man? Could be behind here. He just ran away. All right. Well, we don't need to be three people on this flag. Once again, you, we don't capture faster. But yeah, going back to that, being multiple people on one target can be very confusing in terms of like, if you think you get the kills or not. See there, defeated. I didn't even get the kill. But I believe since I helped, that shows up. But for me, in, you know, playing shooter games, if I get a score, you know, when somebody dies, that means that I got the kill. It's just one of those things that I have to get used to, but... Something I've noticed, and that I feel like I should note. Oh god, he's gonna get it. He did not get it, actually, because I, I cancel his, I interrupt his taking of the ammo. Uh, don't feel like that should be a thing in the game, either. Um, and once again, guys, I'm not trying to sound like I'm, I don't know, mean or being really, like, negative towards the game. These are just my thoughts and opinions, guys. You don't have to agree with them. I'm just kind of spitballing, you know, what I'm going through when I'm playing the game. Now, I do know this. I'm super fresh to Destiny 2, so some of you guys would be like, man, this was in okay. Destiny 1. What the hell are you talking about? You just do know that I, I'm, I'm fresh to the fresh to the franchise kind of deal. It's just so annoying when you're really close to... Oh, you were messed up. He's going to try to run away. Uh-uh. Sorry, Casper the ghost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you have better aim than me? You don't. Get out of here. Scram, kid. I just feel like that, that should be removed. The, in, the interruption thing is super, super annoying. I'm not sure if it's, if, if it's the same with diffusing and planning. I don't think so. I feel like I've shot at people diffusing before. Without me actually getting... Oh, we got multiple... Ah, uh, multiple targets there. I needed to get him real fast. I should have my super ready. Yeah, I do. I don't know how long I've had it ready. I tend to forget to use this as well. Zone C lost. Zone C lost. Three minutes he jumped up. Oh, no! I knew the guy was behind me, but I, I thought I had enough time to kill this guy and then turn around. All right. Well, we used our super. Maybe not the, the biggest success, but we used it anyways. There's a guy right there, buddy. I got him. Don't worry about it. I got you. Maybe he feels like he wasted his... Oh, God. He's dead. Just melee, baby. Just simply melee. Alright, we got super ammo up over here. I kind of like... I very much like this notification. You can see it across map and you know when it's ready. You can either try to, you know, you kind of use that as a as a bait or a lure to get people to go there. Or you can, well, go and pick it up yourself. I kind of wish the super ammo would hold, though. If you, uh, if you die. I kind of wish it would, uh... Oh, you made a big mistake, buddy. You made a big mistake. Oh, and so did I. This is a very close game. I believe they have a two-cap here, so they're gonna take the advantage. Uh, special ammo is not up. Oh, God. Uh-uh-uh. Get away from me, special. Alright, so they're gonna be grabbing this. <laughs> they're grabbing that. We're up to a tie again. Um, but what else, man? I'm trying to think of other things that I've thought about. 
Uh, yeah, once again, you notice that I'm only using the hand cannon. Just going back, kind of circling back to that a little bit. Definitely feel like the hand cannon is the, the strongest right now. Oh, come on, teammate! You needed to hit one shot, and I also could have hit one more, but... Hand cannon is definitely, I just feel like it's super, super strong. Not sure if that's, like, a balance issue. Um, for me, it tends to be a balance, balance issue if... We're gonna use this dodge more, too. I have it enabled so my dodge will auto-reload uh, my gun as well. Kind of like McCree and his little role, if you're familiar with that. Interesting. Uh, uh. Oh, hello, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, besides all of that, uh, I'm still having fun with it. I think Destiny 2 is going to be amazing on... Uh, on PC. I'm gonna be playing on a PC. I'm gonna be playing it first when it comes out on PS4. Uh, probably gonna focus a lot more on PvE stuff. Actually, now thinking about it, I'm gonna focus a lot on PvE... PV, uh, PvE stuff on both of them. On both uh, PC and PS4. But just mainly on, on PS4, just for the fact that, you know, it's gonna be a hard time for me to aim. Uh, with a controller. I've gotten a lot better since you might have last seen me. But, um, I have a long way to go. And especially in a game like this, you need to get so many hits on for people to die. Um, PvP is just not very suited for me with a, with a controller. But, definitely gonna be checking out a bunch of PvE, both when the PS4 version hits and when the PC hits. And when the PC version hits, we're gonna be doing a big, big marathon. Not as big as our Call of Duty marathon, which is happening on November 3rd, which we do every year. Which we are gonna be doing, Race to Prestige. It's going down. Um, but we are gonna be doing a big marathon for... Destiny 2 as well, and it's gonna be a grind. We're gonna be grinding that stuff, uh, and it's gonna be a good time. But overall, guys, I'm really happy with how Destiny 2 PC is shaping up to be. Hopefully, the full release will be even better than the beta, or just as good as the beta. The beta right now just kind of lacks content for me. That's why I don't play it like 24-7 uh, kind of deal, but really excited for it. If you are uh, looking for my kind of grade on this, two thumbs up, man. Really excited for it. One of the top games I'm looking forward to. Uh, in the year 2017, guys. If you found the video entertaining, helpful, informative, whatever the case might be, please go ahead and rate the video, comment down below what you think of Destiny 2, what you thought of this video, anything we talked about in this video as well, leave your comments down below. But with that said, guys, rate, comment, do your thing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.